We have a bit of a... I, I feel like this is a cheat video. It's not because I kind of like seeing what everyone has on their Kindle, has downloaded what they're like ready to read next. But also it does just feel like an easy video for me this week because we're leading up to starting lines release on Monday, which is sending me into a spiral. And then I also have take what you want that I'm trying to write and I'm already falling behind on. So this is a nice easy video today for me to do, but also hopefully a fun one for you guys. So you can see what I have downloaded on my Kindle, what I kind of have up on bat and also like who knows how, like what I've maybe forgotten that I even have downloaded. Cause I feel like once you get past the like original screen, it's like, uh, are you even on here anymore? I don't know. I'm not looking past for you. Anyways, here are all of the books that I currently have checked out from Kindle Unlimited and I also have a library book downloaded on here as well. So I'll talk about that one. Otherwise, yeah, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and just flip through my little Kindle here. Hold on. Okay. First of all, the book that I have up first is the one that I'm currently reading and that is Hearts of Fortune by, oh, the first, and I think it's Ewen. The first initial is blocked by the little check. I think it's Ewen. So this one, Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl, she had told me about because like her book club and like her real life not like a booktube book club or anything but they chose this one to read and as soon as she was talking about it I was like dude that's that sounds perfect for me it's a step brother why choose romance and I've started re I'm 32% in I'm enjoying it our heroine she uh her mom gets married to this rich hot or not hot this rich older man and like this really, you know, high society, whatever. And she ends up getting three stepbrothers out of it. And she goes to the same university as two of them. And then the third one is like graduated, owning his own business, whatever. I, 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 I'm simple to please sometimes with the steps. I just like step sibling trope. I love the forbidden. I love the forced proximity. It hits every time. And so far I will say I'm enjoying it. Uh, and it's finally kind of like captured my attention, which has been literally impossible for anything to do since Legacy of Gods. So feeling good about that one. Then my most recent download that I'm so excited to read is Unhinged Titan by E.V. Olsen. So I read, I think it was called Brutal Titan a couple of months ago. It's another, it was an MM Enemies to Lovers hockey novella and like rival lovers. And this one, I didn't think that this one was supposed to come out until 2025. I was wrong. And as soon as I saw this one in the Kindle store a couple of days ago, I was like, download immediately. It recently came out and it's an MM, it's in the same universe, but it's a coach athlete one. And y'all know how I feel about the coach athlete trope, okay? And especially how I feel about hockey romances in general. So uh, I'm really excited to read this one. And again, this one's a novella, which I think I really, really need this month. Like I just need something short, quick, to the point. Keep my, grab my attention and keep it. And also let me feel accomplished because I've literally only finished two books this month, okay? Like I said, I've been distracted, okay? You know, I just haven't been reading a lot, but. I think this is gonna, I think this one's really gonna hit for me. Okay, so next up is the library book that I have checked out and that is, uh, I think it's, is it Legends of Star Wars? Some of it is like blocked. Legends of Star Wars, Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader by James Luceno. A man, we know we don't read books by men over here. What is that? Anyways, I have this one checked out because um, I was recently talking with someone about it and you know he was just saying how good it was and like I love Darth Vader and I've never dipped my toe into any of the Star Wars books which is surprising for me because I I don't know I mean like I feel like you guys know you guys know mostly I feel like about like my Kylo Ren Adam Driver uh not obsession uh fascination because obviously that's been more recent but maybe if you've like watched my chat chill and get ready with me you know how much I love Star Wars that is like my all-time favorite film franchise Revenge of the Sith god tier movie okay i remember distinctly going to go see that and walking out i was in fifth grade it was like the day my life changed okay listen i darth vader was my fictional crush anakin skywalker was my childhood crush so like i never had a shot at liking normal fictional men so i feel like it's really shaped my taste now and i've never dipped my toe into any of the star wars books but you know um i may have been convinced to give these a go. Yeah, I have it downloaded and yeah, maybe it's what I need to kind of bust me out of my slump as well. Uh, next up, next Kindle Unlimited checkout is Vow of Deception by Rena Kent. So this is the first, what is this? Oh, the, De the Deception Trilogy. So this one is yet another Rena Kent book. Listen, I, I don't care. I'm not, I, I'm loving her writing. I'm obsessed. Legacy of Gods, like I said, is what has sent me into this horrible slump. And this one specifically follows the parents of the heroine from God of Pain and the hero from God of Wrath in Legacy of Gods. So I'm like, maybe I just need to be like Legacy of Gods adjacent. And here's the thing. I am actually 18% started into this book. I liked it. There's no reason that I put it down except that I truly, just like I said, I have been so 
distracted with my reading like nothing is holding my attention I have really start like enjoyed the start of this one and I obviously will finish it but I just haven't yet it's a mafia um marriage like almost forced marriage like le well winter I think her name is but then she ends up changing her name they're like homeless and then Adrian hot mafia man comes into town and is like hey you look like my wife and my wife is dead so you're gonna like come and pretend to be my wife and whatever I don't know I'm really I'm really excited to get back into it but I just had to put it down and I think too because I think I'm gonna love it so much I don't want to like go into it when my mood right now with books is so like yeah. Next up, another one that I downloaded and started, and another one that I am 18% of the way into is Choosing Theo by Victoria A Aveline. This one was one that came through my like books that you guys want me to read recommendation video, and I picked this one up because it's an alien romance. And I was like, maybe again, maybe we need to switch things up. Maybe I need something a little different. You know, I love the Ice Planet Barbarians books, but I've never really read any other alien ones. So maybe I need to try this one. Listen, once again, I started this one. I was liking it. However, it is written in third person and I was starting to struggle with that. I feel like I'm good with third person in like fantasy books, but I feel like in romances, it just kind of like disconnects me from the characters and from the romance. I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm like going to stop this one because I am very intrigued by like the world, by the plot so far. I am really enjoying that. So I think I probably still will finish this one. But once again, it was one that it was like I started and I have since put down, but I'm keeping it downloaded because I do think that I will eventually go back and finish it. Same with this one is absolutely no shade, no tea to this book, but Shattered Hearts by Tina Spencer. I am 8% into it and I have since put it down because I, once again, I was so highly anticipating this release because you guys know if you've been around here recently how much I've been loving Shattered Hearts, which is, or no, it's Shattered Obsession, which is the first book. I'm so obsessed. That like is in the running for my top 10 of the year. And this is the second book like following that couple. Like the first one ends on a cliffhanger. So it's like a duet. So I was so excited. I'm like, I can't wait until this comes out. And then when it did my mood, it's just like not with this book right now. Like my mood is just, I don't really want like... I just am not really in the mood for it. And you know how it is if you're a mood reader that it's like, it's not good to force yourself to read something that you're not in the mood to read, especially a book that I'm so highly anticipating. I kind of have put this one aside and I'm just going to wait until the mood strikes because I don't want to like make myself read it just because I was so excited for it. Like I want to read it whenever I'm actually like in the mood for it and to see how their story ends up wrapping up because oh my God, like Dom, he lives rent free in my head. Those flashback chapters, from Shattered Obsession, from their little like mask night together. Tina Spencer will forever thank you for that. Next up guys, I can, ar I can already hear the comments. I can already hear you all commenting. I see you. And like I said, when the mood strikes, I have For the Fans by Nyla Kay downloaded. I know every time I talk about this book, everyone is like, you need to read it right now. Like I know this book has such a die hard fan base and I will read it. It's M.M. Stepbrothers and like hate to love and they end up starting an OnlyFans together in order to like make money. Listen, it sounds really good. I think I will like it. But one of my issues with it is, is that it is like almost 800 pages. So especially right now when I am in like the worst slump ever, there is no way I am picking up a book that is almost 800 pages long. Okay, like I just, I cannot do that. I need to feel accomplished. I will get to this one eventually, but for right now, it's just gonna, it's just gonna sit on my Kindle for a little bit longer. <laughs> Except I have another new release that I downloaded right away that I was so excited for and then I fell out of the mood for it. And that is Unstitched by Elodie Hart. This is, is it the, the fifth book in the Alchemy series? I think we're up to number five. So this one is an MMF romance. Y'all know how much I love the Alchemy series. Like I've read all of them so far. Unfurl was on my top 10 of last year and I've really enjoyed them all. But then when this one came out, I was like really, really excited for it, especially because it is MMF. And I think we're going back to some religious trauma, which I love that. And I, I just, I'm not in the mood for it. I need a spicy club detox right now, you know? I just feel like there are so many like spicy club books now where I feel like back when like I read the Voyeur series by Fiona Cole, this was like, oh my gosh, like what is this? This is like super unique. This is super different. Like I can't believe that this like kind of club might exist, whatever. 
And now it feels like in every single book, everyone has a spicy club that they go to. And I don't know, I just need like a little bit of a break from it. But I love Elodie Hart's writing so much. Her writing is truly one of my favorites that I read, like out of the books that I've read. Truly like her writing style just like works for me. And also it's so hot. I love her stories. I love everything about this series. Uh, so I know I'll like Unstitch when I pick it up. I just like I said, I need to be in the mood for it. Uh, Man On by Rebecca Wraith. This one you've probably seen recently. I've had it on some TBRs. This one is a stepbrothers uh, soccer romance. And you know Head in the Game by Rebecca Wraith. That is, again, potentially, or not even potentially, it's going to be on my top 10 of this year. It's a coach athlete age gap romance. Loved that book so much. Very excited to read more from her. Uh, and so when this released right away, I was like, oh, I'm definitely downloading that. And then again, the mood has just not struck. I keep saying the mood has not struck, but I will say like just in general, the mood to be reading has just not struck. And I don't know like what's wrong. I think maybe, you know, part of it is like, it is summer. I am right. Like I'm now in the thick of the drafting process of take what you want. I've also been distracted personally. So it's like, maybe, I don't know. Something's just wrong with my reading right now. And also thanks, no thanks to you, Legacy of Gods, that like just nothing, nothing feels the same. But yeah, as soon as the mood strikes, I'll pick this one up. Next up, oh, this one pains me to say that I haven't read yet because I've never been behind on a Penelope Douglas release since I've caught up on their backlist years ago. But Pirate Girls, I have downloaded. This is the second book in the Hellbent series. And I actually started this one, I'm at 10% on it. But once again, so I started reading this right after I finished God of Fury, which like, I, I couldn't do it. I was oh, like, God of Fury just like, you guys know, you know, I can shut up about it. I was like, there's no way that I can like keep going with this. Like I want to be able to give this book my everything because like Penelope Douglas is one of my favorite authors, like top three. So I don't want to like go into this book, like just in a bad slump kind of thing. So we'll get to this one eventually. Once again, uh, I really enjoyed Falls Boys, which is the first book. And I have never met a Penelope Douglas book that I don't love. I'll get to it eventually. Uh, the Dixon Rule by Elle Kennedy, another one that I was so excited for when it came out. This one is a college, are they roommates? They, I don't know, uh, but like forced proximity, I think maybe. I don't know, I could be completely wrong. And I think he's a hockey player and she may be a cheerleader. She looks like a cheerleader on this cover. I don't know. I loved the gram effect. I mean, as you can see, I have the off campus books with the sprayed edges from Barnes and Noble, but then I also have like all of the original, well, you can't see them, but all of the original off campus series. Like I love Elle Kennedy's hockey romances uh, and I'm really excited to get to this one. But once again, mood has not struck and I'm just a broken record at this point. Okay, next up, oh my God, I'm like, I need to get back into this one. Hamarsha by Scarlett Drake. I'm actually 3% into this one. And again, I don't remember like when I had started this one, but again, I put it down because I was like not in the mood for it. And I think this has the potential to be like a top book for me. It's a K-pop rock star romance mm romance and and like this cover looks amazing the start of the book i really liked so i think i'm gonna love it but once again i was like i don't want to like taint it with my like slumpy mood so yeah we'll get back to that one uh by frenzy i ruined by cora riley this is the fifth book in the sins of the father series i downloaded this one as soon as i finished uh by what is it which one is it by fate i conquer which is book three and wait are those out of order oh wait do i maybe oh no because i'm missing i was like wait i only have three up there i'm missing um anna's book i don't own that one yet uh but anyways this one is the fifth one this one is uh remo and serafina's son and then fabiano and leona's daughter which i fabiano and leona are i would argue the kamor chronicles most underrated couple I love Twisted Loyalties. Like that is one of my favorite books in Kamara Chronicles. I feel like again, that one is very severely overlooked. I'm really excited for this one, especially because from what we've seen of, um, what is his name? Oh, I'm completely blanking on his name. Whatever the hero's name is, from what we've seen of him, he seems like he is just like his father, which quite frankly, I love Remo. He's so unhinged, like truly one of the most unhinged mafia men ever. But like, as I said previously, Darth Vader was my fictional crush. We should not be surprised that I like him. I'll get to this at some point, but gotta wait for the mood. Uh, next up, I have Torment Part 1 by Dylan Page. I can once again 
hear the comments already. Yes, I still have not read Torment. Yes, it is still a super high priority read for me. I mean, this is a dark romance that I feel like time and time and time again. I always say like, I wanna read it and you guys are always like, I can't, A, I can't believe that you haven't read it yet or B, you're going to love it when you read it because it's also like a very highly emotional one and like I love that I want books to make me feel things I want books to like kind of emotionally destroy me a little bit and I do really think that this is going to be a good one uh, I think this is like a five-star prediction for me I really really am going into it with high hopes uh but yeah so far I just haven't uh picked it up yet mood hasn't struck you guys don't take a drink every time I say mood hasn't struck because that's literally all I've been saying this whole video uh, next up, Insatiable Hunger by Ashley James. So I actually got 4% into this one, and this is still one that I really, really want to go back and read. I did not put it down because I was not enjoying it. I don't remember what I, I started reading. I think it was like a new release had come out, and I started reading that one instead, and then I just like kind of forgot about this one and never went back to it. But this is a stepfather, stepson romance, and like this one kicks off the bat that they like actually I think hook up at like a club or a party or something, and then don't realize that a few years later or something that then the one gets married to the one's mom. T, I love it. Uh, yeah, and I haven't read anything by Ashley James before, so I am excited to give this a go. Also, this cover is hot, especially, you know, I have such a newfound appreciation, especially for people covers after waging, wading through stock photos because it's like the weeds sometimes, especially I think for me, like, because I was recently couple months back looking through stock photos for a take what you wants cover uh and like I had sent those over and just waiting through just trying to find like blonde man rock star oh my god there I saw a man like air guitaring a fish and like a stock photo site it's like it's crazy so then when people get really good men covers like this one or like the legacy of gods covers i think those are great gianna darlings welcome to the dark side ones those are great men covers i'm always like where are you finding these men because they're not on the stock photos that I'm looking at. Although I think some people like do get custom like photo shoots done, but like anyways, hot man, <laughs> love it. Next up, If There's a Way by Jesse Walker. I have had this one downloaded, I think probably since December of last year, uh, at, right after I read Where There's a Will because I was like, I need to keep going. And you know how much I love book one. That was again, a top book of top 10 book of mine of last year. And this one, like it's a duet, so it follows. Same characters, but here's the thing. As much as I love Where There's a Will, this duet, like that book was so emotionally heavy and just so like, it wasn't necessarily dark of like how sometimes we think of like dark romances. It was just so emotionally heavy. And I just really need to be in the right headspace, I feel like, to pick up if there's a will and just kind of be ready for that. Like, don't get me wrong. I love that. And like I said earlier, like I want books to make me feel something. And that first book made me feel everything. But it's like, I almost just need to also be like mentally and check for that and I feel like right now with everything that I got going on I am not in the place <laughs> for that but eventually I will be and I can't wait to finish this duet okay next I have what is this one wild like us by Kristen Beccarici this is number eight in the like us series so I just recently finished charming like us that is one of the two books that I finished so far this month so I have this one downloaded even though I might read it physically like I have it physically but I might read it on my kindle uh like I downloaded it on my kindle anyways uh so this one is so it's a second generation series and it's all of these like famous kids and their bodyguards and this one is an mfm one with sully who is Rike and Daisy's oldest daughter. And then I think both of both of her bodyguards, or does she have both? I'm excited for this one because I have I have nothing but love for this entire series of her. And also y'all know the Addicted Slash Cowboy Sister series, one of my all time favorites of all time. Why did I need to reiterate that twice? I don't know. Anyways, I have not heard people loving this these ones with Sully, Banks, and Akara, which I'm like, why because I love them as side characters so I am excited but I'm also like mm, I'm a little like nervous and I don't I truly don't think though anyone's gonna be able to top Mafia and Pharaoh and Jane and Thatcher for me like two god tier couples two god tier books alphas like us and tangled like us but I'm still really excited to keep going on with this series it's like what 15 books I still gotta keep chugging through okay I think we might be to the end what I have downloaded in Kindle 
yeah because then I just have some random old ebooks on here honestly that I've just kind of forgotten about and some fan fictions like I have the auction by Loves Bitco which I think did this just get picked up did that just get picked up by a traditional publisher am I right on that I think so and then I also have Breathments and Battle Scars by Onyx and Elm on here that I have downloaded which is probably my next Germany fan fiction that I will read but once again I can't dive anything into anything that long because I need to feel accomplished but I think that's everything that, that I have on here in regards to like kind of what's on my little agenda to read. All right, I think that is it for today's video. Like I said, this slump is really, really, really kicking my ass, but uh, I'm just trying to also give myself some grace because like I said, with starting line releasing, with drafting, take what you want, with it being summer and just not wanting to be like cooped up all the time. And then also like I've been having fun like in my personal life and like I just want to be able to enjoy that without feeling guilty about like not reading as much to like make as much content. And like I still am reading. It's not like I'm like always distracted. It's more so it's just like I'm also Legacy of Gods has literally destroyed me, which I've said time and time again. You guys know what's going to be my top series of the year so anyways that is it for today's video on monday actually so next week normally you know i do tuesdays fridays next week it's gonna be different because i'm gonna have my starting line writing vlog coming on monday uh that just follows my entire journey from start to finish of writing that book uh, a lot of highs and a lot of lows with that one uh but very excited for it to be out for all of you guys and then friday i think will be my chat and get ready with me because then we're at the end of the month so then it'll be tbr and wrap up time the following week so anyways that is it for today's video and i will see you when i see ya